Many foster children growing up can mean constant change. Because of that, some basic needs may be ignored that includes hair care. And for kids of color, this can have a huge impact. New this morning, Karen shares how a former foster child is hoping to make a difference through hair care. Kaylee Thomas knows what it's like growing up as a foster child. When you go to like a foster home, you know, you don't get to bring anything with you. You get to pack something up in a trash bag and you just you just go. Um, and a lot of times you don't even get to do that. At 17, she recently aged out of the system. Her mission now, helping others. Traveling all the time to, between foster homes, um, you never know what you're going to get. Especially something that may seem small, like a lack of hair care products. Kaylee says that's a challenge for black foster girls. And for me, with my hair, I can use whatever on it. Um, but for uh, kids of color in the system, they can't. They have to have special products. And the foster parents just don't provide that. So Kaylee had an idea. She would work with the Children's Bureau to create hair care baskets filled with items like special detangling combs, hair gel, shampoo and conditioner, and what just about every girl of color needs. <laughs> My best friend, she is African American and she'll tell you she don't sleep without her bonnet. Natural hair for black girls has many textures and before using any products, it's important to decode their hair type. Here are the two main types. Type 3 hair has large, spiral, or tight coils. Type 4 hair has a kinky hair texture and has no real curl pattern. It's the most delicate and needs the most moisture because it's fragile and drier than other hair types. Reasons why Kaylee says educating foster parents who adopt children of color is important. But it's not only to educate themselves about um, the hair care products, but also racial equality in general, like really being inclusive and helping other kids of color. For Kaylee, giving back means the most. And even though it's something small, but it's something so big to them and it's gonna mean the world to them. And it makes me feel so good that I can help them with that. And you, this could change somebody's life, you never know. And just the idea of that, it makes me feel really good inside. You know, Kaylee, she's a tough little girl, tough, I should say, young woman. Her goal is to acquire 50 baskets with $30 of hair products in each one. Now, if you would like to help Kaylee to help her meet her goal, you can uh, log on to the story on WTHR.com. We have all the information of how you can donate to the Children's Bureau. Carlos, Julia. Yeah, Karen, great package and great story. And it is true. It's just the small things like that can, that can help somebody who's coming into a new home feel even more welcome. Karen, once again, great stuff there. Thank you. All right.